Now, a senior lecturer at the Political Science Department of the University of Ghana, Dr. Agridaku, says it is worrying sole sourcing is seen as a fertile ground for corruption in the country. He suggests the conditions of single or sole sourcing must be strictly adhered to in order to ensure value for money. Dr. Agridaku is of the view that the conditions for sole sourcing should be revisited. He indicates sole sourcing must satisfy all conditions prescribed in the procurement law, such as emergency situations, technical competencies and expertise, and where there is only one source of supply. Per Dr. Agridaku, complaints of corruption have always been perception. When there is a perception that is high, you cannot rubbish it. Uh, you need to deal with it. The problem is that how do you look for the requisite, um, what do you call, the evidence. And if you allege, you must prove. So because punitive measures for some of these corrupt officials will be high, you know, the threshold is high, and therefore, if you want to prove it, that the bar is also very high. Information, reliability, availability, and validity of information is fundamental. The political scientists suggest the coupling of the Attorney General's office from the Chief Justice or appointing an independent investigator to deal with situations of corruption, which will not be an end in itself. I don't think it will be a bad idea for us to decouple the two and so that those who will prosecute will prosecute. And if you're a Minister of Justice, you'll be a Minister of Justice. And if you decouple and we still don't have very stringent uh, procedures or we haven't tightened up and we don't have political commitment and we are not reducing the transactions over which public officials have discretion will we'll come back after even the coupling to, to see whether there is something else that we cannot do to enhance the ability of the state to deal with this corruption. A governance expert, Joe Jackson, is of the view that the country has all the laws and institutions to deal with corruption. It is just a lack of commitment because every other person's hand is in the tail. Every other person is involved or is benefiting directly from the corruption, from patronage, from bribery, and so forth and so on. So you know what? We don't need new rules. What we need is for the rules to be applied. He stated that all that is needed is for the rules to be applied without fear or favor.